Hey everyone, and welcome on this ride. This is a third video where we will code in Minecraft. If you haven't seen previous episodes, find the link in the description. This time, we'll build a very long rail. My name is David, and I will help you to build 400 blocks long rail. We will start, as always, with a new project. But this time we will look at the command blocks for agent. They are red right here. Before we start build our rail, we need to set a few things up. The first line should be agent place on move. I will click it here. And to turn this on, we need to change the force to true. So now whenever the agent will move, it will place something. Uh, into the Minecraft world. Second thing which is good to set it up is actual block uh, which agent will use. If I scroll down here into the inventory section and the second block here is agent set block or item. So I will use this and I click it as a second line. I will change the block which agent will use to build to rail and now here the count means how many uh, of uh, the blocks will be in his inventory. So it's obviously uh, 1 up to 64 as uh, normal in Minecraft. So I'll keep it 1 because we are in creative so we don't need to change this number. And in the slot is uh, where in inventory the block will be placed. You can place 27 blocks into your agent's inventory. So we'll keep it 1 because we have got only one block at the moment. And the third line will be actual move. So I will use agent move forward by, let's say, five. So now when we will read this code, it says on chat command jump, I will change the jump to build because it will make more sense. On chat command build, agent place on move, true. Agent set block or item to rail, agent move forward by five. Press play and let's check the result. And in Minecraft, I will press enter, type build, which is my command, and again enter, and the agent will start build. Five blocks. So far, so good. We know how to move agent forward and then build rail. Now think, how to make a square of rail blocks? If you suggest that you will need go forward and then turn left and then again forward and then turn left and you will repeat this twice, you were right. The blocks are just here, agent and then agent turn left. So we can click it here. Now the agent will go five blocks and then turn left. We can repeat this four times. Go forward, turn left, go forward, turn left and one more time, go forward and turn left. So now we need to just make sure that we have got the correct number of blocks. So let's keep it five. And when we will run this code, the agent should build his rail. Build and enter. Okay, it's five, turn left. Now he's going another five. And turn left. And another five. Turn left. And last round is another five, and turn left. Well done, agent. Well done. Okay, move on. Here is one important thing. You might notice that we are repeating exactly the same sequence of commands multiple times. In those cases, it's much better to use tool called loops, because it will repeat the sequence automatically. Here is several types of loop. We will stick with the simplest one, which is called repeat four times do. Now think how to use this loop in our code so we will remove the repetition. Now we have got this loop, so we can remove uh, our repetition. So we will keep just the first sequence of our commands, which is the first two lines here. So I can remove all of these, delete. And we have got only now forward and left. So I will drag this loop, click it inside, and then 
above it. And then I will move those two blocks inside the loop. So it means that I will repeat four times, agent moves forward and turn left. This is exactly what we did before. So I'll do enter, build and enter. And I will let the agent build his loop. I think you notice that your code is much shorter now. And this is the biggest advantage of loops. It makes code more efficient and readable. So it means whenever you will need to repeat some sequence of command in your code, use loops. I think you know that for the good ride in card, you will need add power rails into your rail loop. As you can see, it's speed up on the right. So let's add power rails at the end of each direct sequence of our loop. We need to expand a little bit our current code. So we will go to agent and first of all we add the power rail to his inventory. So I will drag this new block, click it here, change uh, the grass block to power trail and count will be just one but the second part here in slot needs to be changed to number two because I want to keep both rails, the normal one and the powered one. The first thing uh, the agent before he start actually building the power trail, we need to change the slot. So I will go to agent, scroll down, and there is block called agent set active slot. So it will change the slot to different one. So we'll click this here under the forward and change the slot number two. Now I can actually start building. So I will do agent and move forward one block and the agent will place uh, the power trail from slot number two. Then he will turn left and then he will go back here and move forward by five steps. But before he will move, I need to switch uh, the active slot back to number one. So the agent will use the normal rails for the build. So we'll go to agent and set active slot to number one as the first command in my repeat loop. So now in this sequence, the agent should build powered uh, rail loop. Let's check it out in Minecraft. Do you have something like that? If so, that's correct. We have got powered rail every sixth block in our loop. But it's not finished yet. We need to add redstone torches to actually power the rails. To do that, we need to add torches, redstone torches, into the agent's inventory. So we'll go to agent, inventory, and Agent set block again as a third, fourth line. And I will then, this time I will search for torch. Here we go, redstone torch. And I will add it to slot number three. So the agent will have got three slots full. Now we need to switch the slot again. So I will go to agent and switch or set active slot to number three. And we will switch it before we will actually build the powered rail. So that will be active slot number three. And I need to place uh, the torch next to uh, the powered rail. So I will go to agent and use this time agent place block. And this agent place block will go here under the set active slot three. And because we don't want to place the torch forward, we want to place the torch on side next to uh, the power trail. So I can choose left or right. So let's do it left. And this is it. Now the agent will actually build power trail. But before we will test the code, I would suggest to make it more exciting and make the loop much bigger. So let's make it 50 blocks long. Press play and test. 
build. Enter. The agent will start building 50 blocks long rail. I would add two more things to complete our rail loop. The first thing is that the agent will place minecart on the rail. You can see the code here, so try replicate this or think about your version. The second thing which I would add is that the agent will actually destroy obstacles on his way. So I will go to agent and choose uh, the block place on move again. The place on move has selection block box here, so I can choose destroy obstacles and turn it on by true. And then this block will go to second line of our code. So now the agent, uh, whenever he will see any obstacle in front of him, he will destroy the obstacle and carry on with his building. Here we go, the railroad in the infinite world. There is one more addition to make the railway powered in whole length. Look at the code on the right side and try to understand how it works. You can also think of another improvements, especially if you will make the rail in this type of the world. This is it for now. We have learned how to use loops, we made our code neat and created a really long railway. How long is your trek? And did you make it in the infinite world? What did you need to improve the code to deal with the terrain? Ask questions and share your results in the comments down below this video. See you next time.